That's fine, Charles. Yes, I'll confirm it in writing. <laughs> Charles. Well, that's that. We're in. Yes. <laughs> One double room with bath, a balcony overlooking the sea. Mm -hmm. Hotel Miramar, Puerta de Vallata, Mallorca. That's for the whole of the Christmas period, returning to the UK January the 3rd. Ah, good, good. Now, I see there's a golf course attached. Is that a separate charge? Yes, I'm afraid it is. Uh, but you can pay here, you know, save spending the old pesetas. <laughs> the dustbins are in the alleyway. Right? <laughs> getting along. Uh, now, this hotel, it's all right, is it? I mean, there's an awful lot of riff <laughs> Working class go to Mallorca these days, huh? Oh, not the, not to, to the Hotel Mirabar, so no, I assure you. Oh, no. I mean, 32 acres in its own ground, own swimming pool, own beach. Oh, no, you'll be well away from them. <laughs> and they have guard dogs as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right, then, huh? I see they have a beauty salon and a hairdresser's. Oh, yes, yes. First class international standard. Is it a sauna? Oh, yes. I think you'll find they have everything there that you have in Epsom. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I, I excuse me. I do beg your pardon. <laughs> you think I'd be used to that living in Epsom, wouldn't you? <laughs> Look, what do you want? I want a bit of what they want. A little bit of service. I'm going on holiday, ain't I? You don't remember me, do you? Should I? You should. You took my bleeding deposit quick enough. <laughs> you put me in. Uh, Steptoe. I've come to pay off the balance. Steptoe. Harold. Excuse me. Yes. I've got my awesome cart on a meter outside. <laughs> Stand, stand. Could you go wiggle on, please? <laughs> uh, step, to, step to. Ah, yes. Yes, step to. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is this right, Hotel Mirabar? Yeah, that's right. Hotel Mirabar, Puerta de Vallarta. Uh, <laughs> double room with bath and balcony. Ten days, including Christmas. <sighs> yes, that's quite right. Uh, unfortunately, there has been a slight change of plan. Oh, you can't go. You want to cancel. No, well, that's perfectly all right, sir. No, no, no. I shall be going, but unfortunately, I shall be going on my own. But you will notice that I had originally booked for a young lady friend and myself. Yes. Well, regretfully, I found out this morning that the said young lady in question has decided to give me the elbow. <laughs> I shall keep the same room. <laughs> no doubt I shall pick up something out there. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Eh? Did I hear you say you'll be staying at the Hotel Miramar, Puerto de Vallarta? Yes, that's right. Uh, are, are you kind there as well? Uh, yes, yes. Ah, oh, that is marvellous. <laughs> uh, my name's uh, Stepson. <laughs> uh, I'm in room 23. What, what room are you in? 24. <laughs> We'll be able to have breakfast on the balcony together. Oh, no, I don't think I... I, I, I oh, so don't worry. Like... I do wear pyjamas <laughs> on holiday. <laughs> I do assure you. Oh, well, that's to in these Spanish hotels. You never know when they're going to fall down, do you? <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't do it to be dug out of the rubble in the nudie, would it? <laughs> Usted habla espanol? Uh, sí, poco. Oh, moi! Oh, see! Si. <laughs> taking lessons from the Shepherd's Bush Adult First Education Institute. <laughs> oh, he's an excellent teacher. Uh, he's Pakistani. This <laughs> <laughs> ain't too hot, but he's Spanish. He's muy excelente. Uh, he was first rowed ashore in Barcelona. <laughs> I think that explains it. So he thought he was in Dungeness, the poor thing. <laughs> I really must pay my bill. I mean, I don't like to keep the horse waiting, and she gets a bit impatient. They wouldn't do it to have her kick some parking warden out of the black hole of Calcutta, would it? <laughs> 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 oh, How much do I owe you, please? That's, uh, 
98 pounds to pay. Oh, very reasonable. This is going to be the best Christmas I've ever spent. Especially, now, I'm, I'm going to be amongst friends. <laughs> oh, must apologise for the condition, Darren. <laughs> I've passed through some very mucky ends in my business. Yeah. Not, not everyone's as particular as what I am. I'm sure. Well, what would you, would you do, please? Some more here, somewhere. <clears throat> oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, it's it's my lunch. <laughs> if I take these home, I mean I go putty. Look, bang them in the waste paper basket for me, would you? Unless, of course, you would care to partake. <laughs> <laughs> it's Polish sausage. It's a bit chewy, but very nourishing. Thank you, no. <clears throat> One too many. Oh, no, no. You keep that. You've been most helpful, Squaw. You're most kind. Your tickets. Thank you. Well, I shall bid you adios, mon braves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shall look forward to seeing you in Puerto de Falerta. Yeah, perhaps we might meet on the plane. Yeah, I shall save you a couple of seats. Go <laughs> on, have them for your tea. It's a pity to waste them. Seems to be proud. I shall look forward to the honour of having a knees up with you on Christmas Day. We'll sell these Spaniards out of dance, won't we? <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> uh, oh, via con. Oh, shut up, you impatient, ugly, gutting pillar. <laughs> We've changed our minds. I think we'll go to Bournemouth instead. <laughs> I can't say I blame you. Enoch's dreaming of a white Christmas. <laughs> Just like the ones he used to know. Can't you do it? Well, do you da 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 the lot. Just the tree and that's it. I <laughs> <laughs> think about getting a new one next year. <laughs> Still, say sweeping up the floor after. <laughs> ah, you go there. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, blimey. <laughs> you look like you've seen more Christmas than I have, doll. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. Yeah. 
There you are. Your first common market Christmas. <laughs> Good, isn't it? We remember the bad old days, don't we, you and me? Yeah. Bleeding sight better than they are now. <laughs> Do you remember your first Christmas? 1932. Harold was only six months old then. Yeah, I gave you to him. And do you remember he kept gurgling and pointing up at you? So I lifted him up and he stretched out his chubby little fist, grabbed all of you and pulled your leg off. <laughs> <laughs> we never did find that either. <laughs> I think he must have ate it. <laughs> We've watched him grow up together, you and me, haven't we? From that little baby boy into what he is now. A bleeding disappointment. <laughs> You've seen a lot of Christmases stuck up there, haven't you? Good ones and bad ones. Do you remember 1936? That was the year his mother was took from us. Very sudden, that was, two days before Christmas. And I'd bought a Christmas present already, so that was wasting my <laughs> <laughs> Miserable Christmases we've had since then. Miserable. Except 1940, that was a good one. Except for the Blitz. And still, if it hadn't been for the Blitz, I wouldn't have had that ATS girl from the Ballads Balloon site billeted on me. <laughs> now, what was her name? Yeah. Annie McFadden. <laughs> you didn't see much of me that Christmas, did you? Of <laughs> course, she was a big girl, she was. <laughs> if they'd stuck her up on the end of a cable, she would have brought down half the Luftwaffe. <laughs> But we was nearly killed in the Blitz that Christmas, Harold and me, when she thought it was a bomb coming over and she threw herself on top of us. <laughs> <laughs> if it hadn't been for the rationing, I would have married her. <laughs> still, never mind. I still got Harold. He always spends Christmas with me. He's a good boy that way. I couldn't bear Christmas on my own, not at my age. Yeah, I've a lot to be thankful for. Now, let's have a look at you. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> well, he'll be coming home in a minute. i better go and switch the yard light on. I was going to put it on the wall. Are you in pain? Of course I'm in pain. Wouldn't you be in pain with a bum full of perforation? <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> you go into the house and I'll fill a basin full of hot water and put a sprig of mint in it and he can sit in it. Don't leave me alone! I've, uh, I've finished the decorations. They look very nice. I think you'd be pleased with them. I'll just, uh, I wanted to have a walk I with you. I haven't blown up the uh, balloons. I'll leave that to you. I can't manage. My lungs <laughs> ain't what they used to be. I can't even inflate the little tits on the ends of the sausage ones. <laughs> <laughs> we have to have balloons. I mean, Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without balloons, would it? Look, uh, uh, something I want to tell here you are. What do you think? Oh, yes. Oh, very nice. They're, they're very colourful. Yeah. Dolly looks nice on top of the tree, don't she? Yes, yes, uh, she does. She's lasting well, isn't she? 41 years. Wouldn't be the same without her, would it? Uh, look, Dad, I, I want to have a word with you about Christmas. Oh, yeah, we've still got a lot to do. We'd better get organised. I haven't ordered the turkey. They're too dear yet. I thought we'd go down to the market on Christmas Eve and pick one up at the auction. Yeah, look, Dad, before you go on, I want to... <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I left the vegetables to you. I can't hunt them around, not with my back. You can put them on the car. And I got a tin of biscuits and fruit I've ordered and um, a big box of dates, because I know you like dates. And I, I've got the crackers already. Look, 
Good ones, these. Good presents in them. Little whistles. And then things you move about trying to get the balls into the little holes. You like them, don't you? You're always playing with them. <laughs> Please, now, sit the, down. I want one. The booze. Oh. I was thinking of the, we, what we've got there. And I thought we'd order a crate of light ale and a crate of brown ale and a crate of Tom Thumb, bottle of Tom Thumb, and a bottle of uh, gold wash and a bottle of virulin in case the vicar comes. Do you want some wine? Uh, Dad, please. Because they're the knocking off some Dago Red down at the supermarket. <laughs> 81p a litre. I don't know whether that's the cost or the effect it has on you. <laughs> <laughs> and I just put the oven on and put the puddings in to boil. Can you smell them? Yes, yes, they smell wonderful. Yeah, they're nice and dark, they are. Black as a gorilla's ghoulies. <laughs> and I put a, a half a quid's worth of your sixpences in there. Make sure you get one this year. Now, the point is, you want mince pies? But Dad, I won't be here. Because if you do, I'm not going to bother making them on Christmas Day. You'll have to tell me... What did you say? I said I won't be here. Of course you'll be here. It's Christmas. No. I'm going away this Christmas. Going away? Yes. Where? Puerto de Vallarta. Where the big nose that? Mallorca. <laughs> Mallorca. We don't want to go to Mallorca. I didn't say we. I said me. I'm going on my own. On, on your own? Yeah. Without me? Yeah. Without me? Without you. On your own? On my own. <laughs> I should have told you before, but I wasn't sure whether I could raise sufficient conkers. Well, this morning, I managed to pay off the balance, so I'm off. Oh, I don't understand, Harold. You always spend Christmas with me here, just the two of us together. Oh, well, no. That's why I'm going to Mallorca on my own. <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly honest, Dad. I cannot spend another Christmas Stuck in this rattle with you. <laughs> over 40 years I've done it. Year after year after year. And if I asked to do another one, I shall go start raving bunkers. Oh, I thought you enjoyed it. How can you say that? We don't enjoy it. We never enjoy it. I enjoy it. it. Liar. You just enjoy seeing me being miserable. It's the same thing every year. We go through the same ritual every year. I sit in that chair for three solid days with a Darth paper hat stuck on my head. <laughs> <laughs> Watching you sit in front of the goggle box. With walnut shells, tangerine skins, and fair gas piling up round your boots. <laughs> I swear blind, if it wasn't for the occasional calls of nature, you'd be buried alive by Boxing Day. <laughs> I mean, his, his soul destroyed, Dad. I, I just can't stand it any longer. I didn't realise you felt like that. Well, you should do. I'll tell you every year. <laughs> oh, you don't listen, do you? Just sat there chomping on your nuts all day. <laughs> You don't hear anything, do you? It's not like that all day. What about the present giving? That's a nice part of the day. Yes, it is. I agree. It is. I agree. All of 30 seconds that takes up. <laughs> it's yours. with mine. <laughs> Go on, open it, Harold. Oh, oh, oh. Dad, just what I wanted. Three handkerchiefs and a pair of white fronts. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> I don't know. Cos that's what I always get. <laughs> I've had three handkerchiefs and a pair of white fronts for the past 25 years. You're getting very cynical, Harold. You never used to be like that. It's not the present, it's the thought that counts. Oh, yes, I oh, know. Look, I'm not knocking the presents. It's just I've got to get away this year. I mean, God blimey, I spent 51 weeks of a year with you. Surely you don't begrudge me 10 days. Ten days? You're gone for ten days? <laughs> no much point going all that way just for Christmas dinner, is it? <laughs> so you've got yourself all sorted out, have you? Yeah. I suppose it's too much to expect that you'd thought of what I'm going to do. Ah, well, that's where you're wrong, see? Because I got you all sorted out. That was the first thing I thought of. Yeah. I have had a word with the vicar. Oh, God. <laughs> he's throwing his old people's annual Christmas dinner down the church hall. And he says he will be delighted to see you there, providing... Providing what? Providing you do not get Brahms and List. <laughs> <laughs> you do not shock all those sweet old ladies with your dirty stories and your foul language. <laughs> I mean, the vicar ain't forgotten the way you've done up his crossword puzzle. <laughs> 
he doesn't know what time of day it is, he doesn't. Some of them sweet old ladies worked down at the pickle factory in the fish market when they was girls. <laughs> I was four years in the trenches and I never heard words like they use. It's like a stoker's reunion down them Wistry <laughs> some nights. I don't be stubborn. He's booked your place. Now then, here's your ticket. Now this entitles you to a, a free course dinner, an apple, an orange, and an ounce of tobacco. And you can see the conjurer afterwards. <laughs> Not going. The mayor's going to be there. Oh, how exciting. He'll turn up in his rolls. Hello, how are you? On to the next one before he gets an answer. Oh, that looks nice. I'm sure you're going to enjoy that. He won't have any, though. He'll only stay long enough to have his fruity in the local paper. Him and his missus carving the turkey. He cut one slice and then... <sniffs> off. You won't see his backside for dust. Oh, God, you're talking about me being cynical. I mean, it won't be like that at all. You should be grateful. Go on. Type the ticket. You Go. Keep the ticket. Stick it in the car <laughs> With the wrapping paper. And they can stuff their Christmas dinner. I ain't going. I've got my own home and my own food and, and my own son. I won't be here. And I won't be there. Why not? Because I won't. Oh, give me a reason. Give me a good reason. No. Oh, give me one. No, I won't. Yes, I will. No, I won't. Because I've got one. Yes, I have. Then let's hear it! <laughs> I don't want to embarrass you. Who was that supposed to mean? Well, if you can't see, it's no use talking about it. But you can't just say that and finish the argument. All right, then. It's for old people, isn't it? People with nowhere to go, with no one to look after them. Well, they all know about you down there. They'll start asking questions. Hello, where's Harold? Oh, he's gone to Mallorca to enjoy himself and left you all alone, are you, poor old... Well, I'm not having that. I happen to be proud of you and I'm not having them talking like that about you. No, it'd be better if I just stay here by myself. And then they won't know. You can't stay here by yourself. Well, no option, have I? Oh, don't you worry. I'll be all right. There'll be plenty to do. I'll go down to the cemetery and sit with your mother. <laughs> and then I'll come back, have me a little bit of dinner, pull a cracker with myself, <laughs> put on a paper hat, and watch the telly. It'll only be for one day. I'll be in bed for the rest of the time. You make it very easy, don't you? <laughs> don't really matter. Probably be my last Christmas here anyway. <laughs> You've been saying that since 1955. <laughs> then you'll be able to go to Mallorca every year, won't you? Yeah, well, if I ain't gone and neither of you. Mm, don't particularly want to stay here another Christmas, not without your mother. I'm getting very tired these days. <laughs> I only keep going to order to look after you, and now you don't want me, I, I might just as well turn it in and go up and join her. You're going to join her now? I'm going to bed. Are you stopping down here? You want to be getting on with your packing, won't you? You won't knock me under your feet. With a bit of luck, I won't even bother you this Christmas either. <laughs> Oh, yeah. As you're not staying, you might as well have your Christmas present now. <laughs> Merry Christmas, son. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Three handkerchiefs and a pair of white fronts. <laughs> That's what I wanted. <laughs> really? I haven't got yours yet. Well, if I'm still here in the morning, <laughs> you can give it to me then. Good night, son. Three. What's it? What? Dolls. Pills. Oh, just something the doctor gave me. What for? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Good night, son. <laughs> 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 
Sonny. You mustn't stay in on my account. <laughs> no, that's all right. I never expected to go. Not really. I knew I wouldn't be going. When I booked it, when I chose the hotel, when I'd give him the money, when he'd give me the ticket, I knew I'd be staying. <laughs> it's all a game now. Really. Uh, no, son. You go. I'll be all right. I'll manage. I, I wouldn't like to spoil your Christmas. That's all. I'm stopping it. I'll tell you one thing. I'm not stopping here just with you. I... I'm gonna cash in my tickets. I'm gonna blow it on the biggest party that's ever been seen in this house. <laughs> I'm gonna invite everybody. All my friends, all of the neighbours, just so long as we don't have to be alone. Yes, I know, son, I understand. <laughs> I think I'd better go and see how them puddings is getting along. <laughs> <laughs> now, with British Airways, take an earth shrinker to any part of the world. <laughs> oh. If my world shrinks anymore, I shall disappear up the back of these. <laughs> sit down dinner mate then there's the evening trade there's another 20 coming in the evening then there's boxing day that's another 40 coming down after the skinner's arms closed this is gonna be a three-day fresh mate <laughs> 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 I've got two dozen loaves coming, a gross of sausage rolls, 14 jars of pickles, and a 28-pound wheel of cheddar. And a new set of rods for the drains. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never stand up to that sort of traffic. Ah, oh, don't you worry, mate. I've thought about that. That's why I invited Basil from the caravan site. He's going to set up two chemi cars in the yard. <laughs> With a canvas windbreak around them. You don't need them, all right. <laughs> you know, Dad, this is the first Christmas here I've ever really looked forward to. I've got a good time this year. Well, I'm not. Don't like having the house full of people. Harold, let's spend it together on our own. You don't have to stay here. I told you, if you won't go down the old people's home, I'm quite prepared to set you up a nice little table, all of your own, out in the yard. <laughs> I'll send you dinner out there. You can sit in the stable pulling crackers with the horse. It's not that being a funny paper hat, you Yeah, know. waste of money. Well, well, it's my money. It's my holiday money. I ain't gonna cost you a tosheroo. If I was to invite my friends, that is entirely up to me. Exactly. Your friends, none of mine's is coming. Well, you ain't got any, have you? All of my friends was killed in the trenches. Yeah. <laughs> Going over the top so I won't get away from you. <laughs> Yeah, that war's been over 55 years. You should have made some more friends since then. You will find as you go through life that you don't make many friends. Not real friends. Count yourself lucky if you get one or two. Oh. Then that's coming tomorrow night. They're not friends, mate. The scroungers are only coming for a free meal and a booze up. That's not true. They are friends. Look, 55 cuts I've had this morning. Exactly. Nothing until you invited them. Now, man, if you had... Come on, how many? Yeah. Hey, 60, 70, 105? No, one, one. 
And who was that from? The Scrap Metal Association. The Scrap Metal... Haven't you had mine yet? No. I sent you one. Phew. I did. I won't forget to send you a Christmas card. Probably come two days after Christmas, like it did last year. <laughs> one of your old ones with the writing rubbed out. <laughs> I'll tell you, I sent one. That was a funny one. Had a picture of the horse on the front, and when you opened it, a cut out of a great big pile of manure springs right out. <laughs> Very seasonal. That's got a lot to do with our Lord's birthday, hasn't it? Oh, well, if you're going to bring religion into Christmas. <laughs> I'll take it you will be wearing evidence at the Midnight Mass tonight. Might do. Rubbish. You ain't seen the inside of that church since 1940, when you fell through the roof with half underweight of lead stuffed up your shirt. Front. <laughs> That's not true. I was fire-watching. You could have been shot for looting. I'll never forget the disgrace of that. At school, the headmaster pointed me out. There is the boy whose father has had to turn in his ARP helmet. <laughs> the rotten, sadistic swine he was. I'm sorry, Harold. I didn't know about that. Well, why do you think they chalked the swastikas on the front gate? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was because we was the only ones that weren't bombed out. People get very funny during wartime. Yeah, that daft, silly little moustache you used to wear didn't help. I had it before him. <laughs> <laughs> There's one to both of us. Come on, you can have that one. Yeah, you put it with yours. Yeah. You got two now. One and a half. <laughs> well, when mine comes, you'll have two and a half. I'll stop moaning. You never had so many before. Now, come on, let's sort out a seating arrangements. Uh, there's uh, five birds coming to dinner. Which one do you want to sit next to? I don't care. All right, you're sat there, Mr. Albert Steptoe. Now, how about Miss Sheila Fegg on your right and Miss Elsie Harmer on your left? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? I'd sooner sit next to the horse. <laughs> uh, very nice girls. I'm not going to get much grub sitting next to Elsie Harmer, am I? Blimey, she's bigger than that girl, ATS girl during the war. A 28-pound bird on the table and an 18-stone bird sitting next to me. <laughs> you have to bother with carving with her around. Yeah, that's true. Do you remember the way she ripped that side of beef to pieces on Guy Fawkes night? <laughs> With her bare hands. <laughs> the life out of me. I thought you liked her. She fancies you. Now, yeah. girls. Oh, she does. She told me. She likes little blokes because they can't struggle so much. Get <laughs> <laughs> away from me. She can go there. Who else is coming? Uh, Joyce, uh, Beryl and Hermione. I love Joyce and Beryl. No, you want the mine, mine. You don't want two. I told you, I'm going to enjoy this Christmas. I like to keep one in reserve, in case the other one flakes out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you can have Hermione, then, eh? And, and, and Sheila Fick. I don't know them. Well, they're all right, but you've got to be a bit careful. Keep your hands above the table. Because <laughs> Chris and Arthur fancied him. Well, scrub out Chris and Arthur, then. I can't. They're bringing him. Oh, Lord, I can see me getting lumbered with gargantua. <laughs> Don't worry. If I see her carrying you upstairs, I shall blow the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> now, then, what else? Hey! Did you remember to cut up the fruit for the punch? Yeah, it's in the punch bowl. Well, well go and bring it in. We'll make it tonight. We'll give it a chance to ferment. Right. What? This little lot will make their eyes water. If I don't enjoy myself this year, it won't be through want to try. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> I told you to buy a punch bowl. I waste the money when we had this. It's big enough. <laughs> I am not making my fruit sangria in a pole. <laughs> it's never been used. Whether it's been used or not. Well, I do, actually. <laughs> That's beside the point. I mean, it is the principle of the thing. I mean, it's going to look very choice ladling the stuff out of there, isn't it? <laughs> Hermione won't reckon it for a start. She's a young conservative. <laughs> What's that got to do with it? 
<laughs> well, they're dudes. They don't normally serve their punch out of a china pole. <laughs> <laughs> they use silver or glass. Oh, I don't think we have a glass pole. <laughs> a glass punch bowl? No, haven't got one. Here. You could chirp the goldfish out of his bowl and put it in there. Where are we going to put him? Bang him in there. You are not banging my goldfish in there. <laughs> Charlie likes to see where he's going. <laughs> well, God bless him, he don't have much of a life as it is. He likes to have a look out now and again. <laughs> he can look up, can't he? For three days, he'll get a stiff neck. <laughs> Honestly, you know nothing about piscatorial anatomy, do you? Well, it's up to you. You pay your money and you take your choice. <laughs> well, I suppose I could tell him it's an imported novelty from Howard's. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Now, come on, bang the booze in. All right, I'll take a chance. That's not very much. I ain't finished yet. A little gin. <laughs> a soup song of grape brandy. <laughs> Just a hint of vodka. <laughs> a fret of whiskey. Let me squash. Is it all right? <laughs> all right, it's all right. <gasps> a bowl full of that in the reservoir, <laughs> and we could paralyse the whole of South London. <laughs> right on tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You get a bird stuffed and put one in the oven. <laughs> and before you say anything vulgar, I'm referring to the dinner. <laughs> Do the goose first. <laughs> It'll take the longest. <laughs> and don't leave your rubber glove in it like you did last time. <laughs> <laughs> and you. <laughs> <laughs> So, Dad, with love. No! <laughs> so, Dad, uh, wishing you a Merry Christmas and many of them. No! <laughs> <laughs> so, Dad, For my old. What a glorious smell. Ah, oh, Bisto. Come on, Dad. It's Christmas morning. Chicken bell, chicken bell, chicken all the way. Come on, stop sticking in that pit. We got work to do. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Well, might as well start as we need to go on. <laughs> Come on, we have to be here soon. Good morning, Father. And a very Merry Christmas to you. I would like to say that I'm sorry for all the rotten, vicious, nasty things what I've said to you in, in the past year. What's your game? What's all that on your face? 
It's all up my legs as well. All up my arms and across my belly and right round me... What is it? <laughs> I think I've got chicken pox. Chicken pox? You can't have... You can't have chicken pox. It can't be chicken pox. Chicken pox? C A A Cholera <laughs> Catalepsy <coughs> Chicken box. The patient is flushed with vesicles all over his and his body temper. He's got spots underneath his neck. <laughs> You've got chicken pox. <laughs> Chicken pox of your age? I've never had it before. Why not, you silly great? <laughs> you can't have chicken pox, we're having a party. <laughs> there can't be chicken pox. I mean, everyone's had chicken pox. You haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I must have done. I mean, surely. Well, when I was little. I mean, nobody could get chicken pox at our age. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. We've got people coming. You have to go out in the stable and stay there. If the horse catches it, <laughs> Well, it's hard luck. Uh, you, you have to stay here. I'll, I, won't, I won't mention it. I'll, I won't talk about it to anyone. I won't say a word. Yeah, I'll, I'll say uh, but you, you, you've gone away. See, you can't stay in here. You're contagious. Get out. Uh, I'll, I'll put on my belly cloth elements and a pair of gloves and I'll <laughs> cover my face over with flour. <coughs> <laughs> You give it me now. You deliberately give me chicken pox. You've done it on purpose. I didn't know, Harold. I'll kill you! You get better! I will kill you! They've arrived! They can't come in. We'd both go out into the stables. I'm not spending Christmas in the stable. Jesus did. No, his dad didn't have chicken pox, did he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! There he is! Hey, what are you doing down there? Come on, Harold, open up! Oh, but we got a slight problem. Hello, <laughs> he's started playing games already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. Come on, Harold, open up. I've got something for you. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's been a slight technical hitch. Uh, how many of you have had chicken pot? Hey, chicken what? Chicken what? Uh, we, we got chicken pox. We thought you had turkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. We got chicken pox near my death. All right, then. Well, who's had chicken pox? Well, who's had it? Have you had it? I think so. Well, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll have to ask my mum. If you had it, I think it's all right for you to come in. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going in there. You come out on the spot. Oh, no, 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 no,